Hi fitness friends, today we are doing a 2017 holiday hit and this is number two. This is a workout called Bootylicious and it was written by our dear fitness friend Kristen Ritter. So if you like this workout, make sure you leave it with a thumbs up and you let Kristen know what you liked in the comments section. For this workout, I'll be using mostly just my heavy weights um, including my sandbag, a resistance band that you do not need but will make the moves a little bit more glute targeted and focused, and also a 16 inch plyo box, which again you don't need and you can modify every move to make it work for you right on the ground. Alright, I do have a very short glute focused warm up. If you feel like you need to do more, like get your cardio heart rate up and get a little sweat on before you start your workout, Please push pause and get that done, and I will see you for this bootylicious workout in just a minute. All right, we're gonna get started right away with our glute activating warm-up. This is rep-based, and we are doing 25 reps of three moves and going through it two times, starting with frog pumps. So on your back on the mat, feet are together, knees out wide, and you're going to be pumping your hips up, squeezing your glutes, going fast for 25 reps. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Nice job. Bring it on up. Next, we're doing twenty-five air squats. So that's just a body weight squat. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's twenty. Twenty-one and two. 23, 24, 25. And our third move is lateral banded walks. So if you have a resistance band, get it on. And we're just gonna be doing lateral walks to activate our adductor muscles, our glutes. So I put mine up around my thighs. If you don't have a band, you can still do this, just squat down a little bit more, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, and five. All right, we are back to the top of our warm-up. Going through it one more time. 25 frog pumps. I am warmed up now, so I'm gonna take my jacket off. And I am, by the way, 20 weeks pregnant during this recording. That doesn't mean anything except for go at your own pace and choose your own weights, as you always should, to make this workout work for you. Okay, let's go 25 frog pumps. One, two, Three, four, five, six, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five. Air squats for twenty-five. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Okay. 25 lateral, band roll, <laughs> lateral banded walks. 
for squat walks if you don't have a band. And then we'll be ready to start this workout. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25. All right, we have Tabata Pear Time Pyramids to start this workout. Leaving my resistance band on because this first Tabata Pear, Tabata Time Pyramid Pear, we'll be using a band. We're doing banded hip thrusts with your back against your elevation with a pulse. So you're pulsing at the top of the thrust, I am not using weight because it feels uncomfortable for me at this point with my belly. If you have a weight that you can set comfortably across your hips, please use it, okay? We're pairing that with a back load pulse box squat. So you sit down with your back weight on your shoulders and tap your butt on the bench before you stand up, okay? So starting at 20 second interval, going up to 50 and then back down to 20, and we'll, we will get each one of those intervals for each of the moves. So starting with hip thrust for 20 seconds, hip thrust with a pulse. Tuck your chin, knees are out, pulse it down. Squeeze those glutes. Keep tension on that band if you're using one. And one. Turn this up a little bit and get my sandbag up on my shoulders. 30 second interval. Pulse box squat. So sit it back, tap your butt twice, squeeze the sand. Cross your hips for hip thrust again for a 40 second interval. Here we go. Pulse it at the top, squeeze those glutes. are already on fire from this pair. <laughs> Less than 10. And one. Okay, get your weight on your shoulders again. This is your first 50 second interval. Box squats with a pulse. So sit it back. Tap that booty. Squeeze the sand. Get that full 
posterior pelvic tilt without any weight at all. My glutes are on fire right now. Really squeeze through that pulse at the top. Make sure you're breathing. Your knees are keeping tension on that band by pressing outward. Less than 10 seconds. And one. All right, you hit a 40 second interval of the box squat with a pulse. Let's go. Load up that weight. Keep that chest out, sit that booty back. Right through your heels.
40 second interval already. Bring that weight, get under it, step it up. Reverse lunge, toe touches. Big step back. Single dumbbell, kettlebell, 
sandbag, whatever weight you want to use, to a lateral, low lunge, and pistol. <laughs> so you're going to get down low in the lateral lunge, bring the side leg over to the front, pistol up, pistol back down, go back into a lateral lunge to get the other side. <sighs> okay, if you can't do a pistol, do lateral low lunges, and then do a staggered squat, okay? So either put, keep that foot up on your tippy toe for that squat, or just stagger one foot forward or one foot back, whatever feels most comfortable and activates and gets that glute that you're stabilizing on the hardest, okay? All right, 10 second countdown has started. Beginning with swings for 20 seconds. Hinging at the hips, squeezing your glutes. Let's go. Okay, set down the weight. Lateral low lunges and pistols. So I'm gonna start over here, get into a deep low lunge. Bring that side leg forward, pistol up, pistol back down. Get that leg back out, slowly transfer over. Side leg comes forward, pistol up, down. This is slow and controlled. This is your 30 second interval of this move. Nice work. 40 second interval swings. Here we go. Really squeeze your glutes. Hinge at the hips. Drive them forward to get the momentum. seconds in this 50 second interval. Stay with it, stay focused. A lot of balance going on here. Oh, I say I lose mine. Okay, swings, 50 second interval. And then we're working our way back down. Here we go. this. 
Knees make me shake too. Nice job. Okay, our next set is rep based. We have, just close that up. We have set number two. We're going through it three times. We're doing eight step ups to reverse lunge per leg, paired with 10 one and one half deadlifts. So that means you go all the way down, all the way back up, then halfway down halfway up for one rep. I'm going through three times, let's do it. Let's see, for the deadlifts, I'm going with my 24s, and for the step ups, I'm gonna back load. Okay, get it up there, only eight per leg. Step up, reverse lunge. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other leg. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Drop your weight down, 10, one and one half deadlifts. So, weight stay close to your body. Determine your point of half mark by how far you go on your full mark, okay? Here we go. One. Nice job. 
set them down. Back to the top. Our second round of step ups and reverse lunges. We only got three of this set. Let's go. Load up your weight. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Other side. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Back to our deadlifts. Grab your weight. All the way down, all the way up. Halfway. One. Four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, set them down. Next, we have another rep base superset. We're going through it three times again. This time we have three, I'm sorry, it's not a superset. We have three moves, it's a giant set. We're doing it banded, good morning. So grab your band and get it on. The next move we're doing is a hip thrust for 10. And then on the last one, you're gonna hold at the top and do 10 adductor knees with, with the band on. Then you're gonna take the band off and we're doing a kickstand deadlift, 10 per leg. And I'll show you what that is before we do it, just in case we haven't done it before here. Okay, load up your weight up to your shoulders. 10 good mornings. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Take your weight down. If you can use your weight on these hip thrusts, please do it. Again, I'm not because of my belly. Okay, 10 hip thrusts. At the top of that 10th one, you do 10 adductor knees. Here we go. Tuck your chin, fold posterior pelvic toe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold it up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you should be squeezing your glutes with everything you've got when you're doing that. Okay, take that band off. Grab your dumbbells for kickstand deadlifts, and that is just like a single leg deadlift. Instead of kicking your leg up behind you like a single leg deadlift, you're just going to have your toe down and you're doing it like that. So it's like you have a balance, okay? You might even feel it more in your glutes since you're not trying to balance. Let's go, we got 10 per leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Set your weights down. Get your resistance band back on for round two of banded good mornings. Load up that weight. Ten reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Set it down or get it ready to go across your hips for the hip thrust. We got 10 with 10 adductors at the last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on down. Take your band off. Right, the kickstand deadlifts. Nice job. We are cruising through this workout. Hopefully your booty is on fire. Mine is. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. I got one more time through this set. So get your band back on for good mornings. Grab a quick drink. And load up your weight. Let's get it. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, hip thrust with the adductors on the tent. Here we go. Ten reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on down. Take it off. Last move in this set is those kickstand deadlifts. And then we're moving on to a hit superset. So let's grab our weights and get them done. Prop that foot back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Other side. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice work. Okay, set the weights down. We have a hit superset. This is 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Two moves, we're gonna do back and forth, and we're only going through it two times, okay? So this is only four minutes. I'm gonna set my timer. We have a sumo deadlift to a single leg deadlift. You're gonna stay on one leg the whole time. So you do sumo deadlift, single leg deadlift. Sumo deadlift, single leg deadlift, okay? So you stay on that same leg, you'll get the other leg in the second round. And we're pairing that with a deficit curtsy lunge. So up on top, curtsying down. So like I said, it was 50, 10, and only four minutes. For the sumo and the single legs, I'm gonna use dumbbells. For the curtsies, I'm gonna back load. 10 second countdown has started. So, grab your weights. Sumo deadlift, toes and knees are out. Bend your knees, square it up. Single leg deadlift, come on up. Toes and knees back out, sumo. Single leg, get your balance. Up with those hamstrings. And one. All right, so I'm back loaded and I'm staying on my right leg as a supporting leg for the decline or deficit curtsy lunges. So get up on top. Pressing down with my left. Drive through that heel. There, five seconds. Nice work. Okay, other leg. So my deadlift to single leg deadlift. Left leg for me. Toes and knees are out. Sumo. Okay, set them down. Back load again. Last 50 seconds and then set. Get up on top. Curtsy down.
Stay with it, 10 seconds. Nice job. All right, take that weight off. Let's push pause and take a short break at this point. And I think I forgot to tell you in the beginning that we're using ankle weights. So take a break, grab your ankle weights, get them on, and get ready for our next two, last two sets. All right, guys, we have another hit set, which is 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. So we're gonna go through four moves four times. So this is just over a 10 minute set. And the only weights I'll be using is my sandbag for a back load, okay? So you can use dumbbells, no problem. I'm just choosing to go with the sandbag and I'm gonna leave it up on my back during the 10 second breaks that we're gonna be using it back to back, okay? Just an added little challenge. And I have my ankle weights on, I think I might have already said that. 10 second countdown is on. We're starting with a reverse lunge, leg lift. Stay on one leg the whole time. We'll get the other one. So I'm gonna start with stabilizing on my right. So lunge back, leg lift. Lunge down, leg lift. Two and one. Next is a narrow to wide spot with a pulse. So we're walking from side to side, keeping my weight up on my back. So start in the narrow, pulse it, go to wide, pulse. Back to narrow, go to the other side. Narrow, wide. Keep it up. Less than 10. Okay, I'm loading my sandbag. We have donkey pulses. So I'm gonna do it on my right leg first. So you on your hands and knees. Get that leg up. Pulse it out. Squeeze that glute. I don't know this burns. Less than 10. Stay with it. Three, two, one. Okay, we have curtsy lunges with a lateral leg lift. So I'm going to stabilize on my right. Again, here we go. So curtsy lunge, lateral lift. Curtsy, lift it. Keep that chest up. Nice big deep curtsy lunges. Five seconds. And one. Okay, go back to the top. Leave my weight up. This time, lunging back with my right, stabilizing on my left. So, reverse lunge and leg lift. Okay, narrow to wide spots. And I think I'm gonna do regular to wide spots because when I do a narrow spot, it feels like too much pressure with my legs on my belly. So I'm doing a wide squat to a regular squat. Stepping wide again with the other side. Pulse it, sorry, we're pulsing. Squeeze those glutes on that pulse. Whew. 
Nice job. Doggy pulses this time on my left. So hands and knees. Let's go. Pulse it up there. Less than 10, stay with it. I know it burns, make up your mind that you're finishing the whole interval and just burn through it. Okay, crazy lunges, leg lifts. This time I'm stabilizing on my left. Curtsying back with the right. So, nice big curtsy lunge. And lift. your right leg. So reverse lunge, leg lift, stabilizing on the right. Big reverse lunge, lift it. It's not a big movement for that little glute raise in the back, but it's a big burn.
Slip it wide the other way. Curtsy lunge. 
other leg for me. Balance. You're almost there, guys. These are your last four intervals. Go hard. Push to the very end. Five seconds. And one. Rocket step up. And lunge back. And switch. Single leg, burpee, left leg this time. So pop it back, get a push up, hop it up, two front kicks, lunge back, kick, lunge back, kick. Leg decline push up and glute raise. Left leg this time. So Bulgarian hop. Single leg push up. Glute raise. Balance. but especially during holidays, we need it. So stick with me, cool it down, stretch it out, eat healthy foods, drink non-alcoholic fluids all throughout the day, and I will see you all at the next workout.